There's a small town in the north called Borek, and in this town lies the central bank. As you might expect, this is a place of great opportunity, and although it was really risky, most people weren't going to turn down the chance to get rich quick. And me, I was just like most people. So I sat there in my home, hidden up away in the trees, and waited for that call. Attention, attention! The bank in Borek is getting hit! All the cash will be gone in 20 minutes. And when the perfect time came, I made my move. Alrighty boys, today we're on a new server and this one is a little bit different because it apparently has a massive bank in the middle of the map that you can rob. And there's also ATMs in all of the towns it seems like and I guess you can rob those as well. We gotta figure out how all of these like robberies work and um, today we're gonna be doing that with our friend Satona. He should actually be around here somewhere so we're gonna try to meet up with him and uh, let's just get established. Is this you? Yeah. Is you? Jeez. Hey, what's up? I didn't even notice you were there. I just spawned in as you were running. So the day started off like most others. We had spawned pretty close to the Bloda airfield, so we tried to go find some guns there. To our surprise, the place was completely unlooted, so we did manage to grab some rifles, and then off we headed north searching for signs of other survivors. For Zelly, I bet we'll get some PvP at Zelly. Yeah, there's bound to be somebody over there. Where would this guy have shot at? Probably Pavlovo, right? Oh, up there, up there, uh, it's, don't know, marked. He's running right, solo guy, I'm a mark. Alright, I'm with you. Don't know if he saw us. I don't have eyes. No, he's running right though, just keep an eye out on that. Yeah, I see him, I'm marking, he's running a straight line. Alright. He went into his green mustache. I think he's building a base, maybe? On the first kill of the morning, we had an expensive crafting book and an M14, with some other decent gear. If we could just find a few more survivors with loot like this, we might be able to get a base up today. There's a guy freshy down there. He's dead. That's me, it's me shooting the zombies. No, no, there's a guy aiming at you, I'm pretty sure. What? Killed them. I wasn't sure if that was a zombie or a guy. Bro, you saved my life, thank God. <laughs> Dude's gonna gun you down. <laughs> what did you have, Buster? Oh my god, he had an M2010, dude. That dude is about to decapitate you. <laughs> well, I guess we got what we were looking for. Yeah. Let's go safe zone. Let's, let's sell, maybe get a bag, make a little stash with our base building shit, and then just kind of go collect more money. Wait. Our path next took us towards the town of Zelenogorsk, and this is a big point of interest, so we wanted to check it out and see if we could get some supplies at the military base. If there were people around, they would likely be here. Oh. There we go. I see the zombie running. Careful, I don't know what this dude's shooting. Should we go on top of fire? I think he's in the, he's the, in the barrack. Yeah, he is, he is. Zombie ran left. I'm hopping over if you want to come push with me. Pretty sure he's in this L shape, dude. He's reloading, he's reloading an L shape. The door is open. <laughs> Alright. Shit, bro. Was this guy stacked, though? Oh, there's a kid in there. What the fuck? Coming. Where? In the in the barrack. I, I seen him laying down. I don't know if that's. Might be you stuck. see this door? Yeah. I see him. Should I shoot? <laughs> what the hell is he doing in there? But well, what's that door? I'm so confused. It's a it's a locked room. 
Oh, you know what? He might have been doing it, and then when server like went down, it got stuck because it relocked. What the hell? My God, dude, that dude, that dude looked like he got gear too. Yeah, we can't loot him. This, it's, it's right there though. That's such a shame, dude. So what all do we need, like, for base building plus? Uh, we need the book. We need a handsaw, um, hatchet, flag kit. Oh, did you see if we can buy the wait, flag? Wait, 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 hold up, comms. Someone's in here. Someone's next to me. Coming. I don't know where. They're real. They're near me. Gotta be in here, bro. Unless he ran. What the fuck? I'm dead. I'm dead. Dead. Mark my body. I'll come and pick it up. After a close call, we had a few more of the base building items that we needed, and now all we had to do was get out of this town and go make a stash. But that was easier said than done. Oh. I'm hit. I don't know where that is at. It's towards, uh, it's towards Green Mountain. I'm hit, I'm hit. Yeah. That's not from there, it's not, it's not. It's from there. Oh, yeah, he still has sight on us. Be careful, yeah. he has sight. I'm going to the church. I need a bandage. It took some luck and a whole lot of morphine, but we were able to get out of the town alive and off to the trader where we bought some dry bags. All we had to do now was find that perfect spot to bury our goods and eventually build the base at. Where do we want to build at? Oh, no. The bank is... Like, there's BM Northwest, there's a cartel east, cartel trader at Altar. You have VMC, it's a fucking disaster over there. No, I don't think we should build over there at all. Like, there's really no spot. You build north of that, you got Devil's Castle, I'll guarantee you there's a fucking 20-man clan up there. With all tappers. We settled on building in this eastern area because it was just way more quiet than anywhere else on the map, and there's a small builder trader nearby we could buy supplies from. Also, if we were eventually going to try to hit the bank, we would have a much safer approach from the southeast compared to coming in from the north or from Vibor out west. I, know, I feel like this could be it. This yeah, area, this, this is... Forest. The trees are really nice, too. They're big. Uh-huh. So... It's perfect. And there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Oh, let's hope nobody walks over these. <laughs> Afterwards, we took a few minutes to explore the area, and we found the lumber mill right down the hill from us with abundant plank spawns, so this was going to make building so much easier. And while we're on the topic of building, let me tell you a little bit about some tools I got from the sponsor of today's video, Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers awesome boxes of top shelf goods from under the radar brands, and is free to join. Bespoke is great because they source 90% of their quality products from small US based businesses, and the way it works is simple. Basically, you take a quiz to find out if you're interested in a wide range of products from outdoor gear, home goods, clothing, and much more. Once Bespoke knows what you like, you'll get a box assigned to you that has a retail value of $70, but it only costs you $49. You can then preview this box and decide to either keep it, swap it for a different one, or skip it entirely for no charge. I like to be outdoors, so I decided to go with the beam package, which included a heavy-duty headlamp that I'm going to be using for nighttime fishing and hiking around. To complement that, I grabbed the chill package, which came with a green day tripper cooler bag and built-in bottle opener. My final and favorite choice was the Tanto box that came with a leather sheath and a Damascus steel, Japanese-inspired Tanto blade with beautiful yellow wooden accents. If you want to try out these boxes for yourself, click the link in the description and use the code NAZAR20 for 20% off your first box, or go to bespokepost.com forward slash NAZAR20. Thanks to Bespoke Post for sponsoring this video, and now, back to the story. Finally, we were established, and it was time to go do what I've been wanting to do all day. Check out the bank. Yeah, that big building is where the... It's where the bank is. Okay, here's the thing. Is it like... Do you gotta push that whole building to rob it? Because that's kind of hard. Yeah, it's so, uh... You just gotta go into that building, basically. We'll, we'll go check it out. If we can rob it, should we try it now? We could. Give it a go? Yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. Fuck it, dude. <laughs> Yeah, the frames are kind of ass. It's kind of concerning. 
Okay, we should be okay. Okay, so this is the ATM here. Where? Right here. So, well, if you go through it, there's three levels. Yeah, I just don't know what level we should do. Like, I'm assuming you need something for three, right? Or is it just maybe it takes longer? I'm pretty, I don't know. But if, so I know level one will take like 10 minutes. So I'm pretty sure like level two and level T will, or level two and level three will take longer. But I don't know. I'm kind of afraid to try it, bro. <laughs> Let's do level one, dude. We're not geared enough to stay here for, you know, yeah. half an hour and hold out all the people who are going to push. Farmer Freddy started level one robbery in Borek. Okay, 10 minutes. We just got to chill now. Should I just grab it? Yeah, just grab, grab. Please, God, give us something good. How much I got on me, man? Two gold bars? <sighs> Wait, that's huge. All right, let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here, bro. Watch out for campers. Really surprised we didn't get countered. Maybe because it was just level one and the dudes like didn't even bother. Hey, level one is 100K though. Yeah, each, each gold bar 50K, not bad. We now knew how the bank robberies worked and we had a good idea of the layout of the building and surrounding town. We also noticed that you could make just as much, if not more, from robbing ATMs, so it wasn't worth risking our gear doing a stage 1 heist. This time we were going to have to aim for at least a stage 2 or 3. The problem now was that the bank was on cooldown, so we took this time to get working on a starter base. That's a miracle, man. And you know what? It's not too high. No one's going to see that. That's really good. So I'm thinking we build the one by one around this. Okay. <laughs> We got little Bambi, bro. Let's go. <laughs> see, no one's going to raid us when they see that flag. A sleeping bag, which allows you to set your custom spawn point. Did you read oh. the description? I just read it now. As you choose. <laughs> Don't put that Let's in Let's go, space. bro. That's pretty nice. It's about to get dark out, man. Oh, Borak just started Level two. three, that's a big 44? robbery. 45 that's minutes. 45 minutes. Damn. We got options, bro. What do we do? As badly as we wanted to go counter this heist right away, we had a list of things we had to get done first. There was an airdrop landing nearby, which we badly needed, and we also had to go buy nails and finish the roof of our base. So after all of this was done, maybe we'd still have time and we could make our way to the bank. Oh, there's a guy down there. There's a guy down there. Where? Mark him, mark him. He's in the building. He just ran in. We got a slide on him. In the builder? In the builder. He ran in it. He's looking at my damn map. I wasn't paying attention. I was on my phone. So I look over. I see a kid running. Shit, man. Oh, what was he doing? He didn't have any money, though? I, t I guess not. Not that I see. I don't know what he's doing. He's trying to sell like this sledgehammer and stuff. Try to get some cash to start. All right, roof is built. Nice. Yeah, she's looking all right. Pretty well camouflaged as well. Let's go get this airdrop. There was only 25 minutes left on the robbery as we approached the airdrop, and we got really lucky with this one because it had base storage items, which you can't actually buy at the trader. After placing these down at the base, we begin the long journey to the bank. All right, man, our first counter. Let's do this. So we got to go through Goglovo to Novi to Borak in 20 minutes. <laughs> and if we're even 30 seconds late doing this run, those dudes are gone. There we go. Like that building would be nutty to get into. We could go through that back door, actually. He is definitely hearing this right now, bro. Well, he's stuck in there. We can actually snipe him through the window. This is a really good angle. And yeah, we might be chilling. No, no. Oh. Shh. He's left. One's hard left. I heard that. Oh, someone's in front. Uh, At the I'm front mark. door? No, no, no. I'm marking. He's down there somewhere in the square. Zombies are on his ass. At a grocery store, I think. 
Is he geared? I couldn't tell, dude. I don't know. I mean, he got something suppressed that he just shot with, so... Yeah, he, he's kind of geared. He ran in the... He's running... He ran right behind the tower. He's right behind the clinic. I'm going down. No one's on the ATM right now. Be careful, there's some there's yeah, gotta yeah, be yeah, somebody yeah, else yeah. outside. That ain't him, that's for sure. I might try to get the goodies and dash. <laughs> He's running around the edge. There's two. One full ghillie. I lit one in the back, one ghillie ran in. Wait, there was three of them? Yeah, there was three. What'd you get? I swear to you, there was like 10 gold bars. I had them all. Oh my god. We were so close to getting rich, but as you guys know, things don't always go in our favor. This marked the end of the night for us, and the next morning we logged back in looking for a second chance. And it didn't take long for us to get one. Alright, I'm kind of near our base, so I'm gonna go loot around. Try to get a gun. Did you find anything over there? Eh, not really. It's complete trash, to be honest. Oh, wait, no, never mind, never mind. I did just find me an M14 DMR. Uh, uh uh. Ooh, level one robbery in Borek. We may gotta go pack this dude up. You want to? I kinda want to. I have no vest. I don't either, but like maybe he's not that geared because he's totally starting level one. I can't imagine it's like some ultra geared dude. That big old fight going down over there. We're gonna need some view of the door. There's a zombie aggro right that out there. He cut right to police. It's probably somebody at police or behind it. Yeah, I see it. It's in front of police. It's a guy. I see him. I see him. He's dead. Yeah, I killed him. Good shots, bro. The, the robbery's done. That's the hill. Watch out, watch out. I see him. He's in the field. Gilly, gilly. I just killed him. Good shots. You want to push it? We might have to. Because I no one's left unless... Yeah, I don't think no one left. All right, let's push. Let's push. I'm with you. I'm with you. No, no one's here. I'm dispensing it. All right. Please give us something good. Two gold bars again. Nice. We gotta just get out of here. Let's go. The smart move here would have been to go straight home with all of the gold in deposit, but Satona killed a really, really geared looking guy in the field, so he went to check him while I stayed around the outskirts of the forest waiting for him. Bro, he's loaded. Oh, I got a hacksaw, bro. I have hacksaw. Nice. That's and big. a red key card. Oh, red key card. Yes, yes, yes. A yellow one as well. Okay. That's huge, bro. Good job. In an X50. Oh no. Get out that field, man. Don't get caught. Hold on, let me grab the rest of this shit. Damn it! No! That dude killed you with the AS50, by the way. Oh yeah, I see him. It's a freshie.
dead. Good shit, man. That's the first guy you killed. So the AS-50 dude's still out there. I am out of ammo for my sniper now, which is not good. The body in the field alone was worth more than everything we owned at this point, but it was impossible to loot such an exposed area, so I just made my way towards the safe zone to meet Satona and sell our gold bars. So much cut down a tree right in front of me, bro. Oh no. Yeah, he's cutting trees still. He's building. Man, please be stacked. I just see where he's cutting. Oh, I see him. Please be solo. He got a nice gun. What about a vest? He got a vest for you? He got a massive backpack. Uh, he did, yeah, plate carrier. All right, I'm running, man. I'm gonna grab the gold and keep going. That's a big come up right there. Okay, man, good shit. I finally got to the safe zone and converted the gold into cash, and from there Satona and I made our way up towards the airfield because although we were starting to make some decent money, we still didn't really have any good guns or armor, and we hoped that maybe some would spawn up there. Yeah, maybe slide over here real quick, my boy. <laughs> what? Look at this teddy bear. <gasps> <laughs> Bro, that teddy bear alone goes for like 10k or something like that, too. What? Yeah, yeah, the teddy bear goes for like 10k. I saw it in safe zone. We need to figure out where that goes, though. I know. Let me take a look. We only ended up running into one guy at the airfield, and on the way out, we found a yellow key card. And this key card went to a room in Magalevka, and the purple one we found earlier went to a room in Starry, both really close to our base. So we made our way over there to unlock these. All right, man, watch that base, I guess. Because this thing bought a lot of siren off, I already know. Oh. There's a redemption. Uh, hatchet. Here, I'll put it back in. Okay, nice. Grab it. Grab everything. It's kind of ass. I'm going to lie to you. I don't got room. You're going to have to grab. Uh, I don't. Okay. I don't got a bag. So, yeah, we need to go open this key. Maybe. Lot, depending on what we get, we'll have to see. Because we might have to depot if it's something crazy, you know? If it's like raid tools. Eh. Yeah. What are you doing there, Buster? <laughs> He's just prone fucking sniping or something. He's loaded and he has a fire axe, bro. That's a raid tool. Hey, yo, we gotta go. That's a green one. Can you hold anything? Yeah, yeah, I, I just grabbed it. Charcoal. We need to shoot. This is more like it. Grab it, grab oh, the it, grab gem. it. You see the gem? Oh, that thing goes for a lot. It was M300. On the way back, we saw an airdrop landing at Gorka, so we made one final stop before heading home and depositing all of our gear. It's a kid. Yeah, we're we shooting his ass. Yeah, if we got a clean shot. Hey, good shot, man. <laughs> That's big guns, dude. Look at the top. Oh, weed, a gem? I grabbed it. After a few hours of looting around, we were doing pretty good on gear and sellables, but I wasn't comfortable having a one-door base, so I quickly threw together another layer before we headed back out into the wild. Alrighty. She's done, my friend. Nice. This is a little bit more secure for the night. We had guns, we had ammo, and we had armor, but the one thing we couldn't find anywhere was food, and since I was starving to death, I just killed my character off so I could have a full stomach again. But on the way back to base, I discovered something that was really interesting. I found a little base in the woods here. 
Let's see what we got. Oh, it's not a little one. Holy fuck, it's huge. Every dude in this game, they always build the exact same base. It's always like a fucking 5x5, five five, 3 levels. Just a monstrosity. Oh, this one's not even built. Oh yeah, it's like raided. Oh, there's trees cut down. Uh, uh. And there's a body here. My god, they have a tent? And it has like a bunch of storages inside. Is it wait outside? It's an outdoor tent with all their main base shit. I'm pretty sure is in there. They're not. They're just building still. They're not even done building the main base. Everything's open. And maybe we can go there and make a play. You know. This was almost too good to be true. A massive base under active construction, with the only thing between me and the loot being one lock ten. I had to try and make a sneaky play here. I don't even see it, bro. Whatever. Let's just go to that dude's. Let's go to that dude's base. Oh, give it our gander. He's up there. He's up there. I'm on mark. Full ghillie. Tent's still closed, though. So I don't know if we wait for him to open it. You see him standing still? Yeah. Ah, uh, do we let him open tent or do we drop him? I don't know, man. Part of me want to wait, because he's not going anywhere, he's still building. We need an angle of him opening that tent. He's coming down? Don't move, don't move. I'm gonna get closer, hold up. It's right there on my mark. I think he's cutting wood right now. Oh, I see him. He's crouching up to build again. He didn't see us. So I he's know. on the building. Yeah, he's on the building again. He's he's building again. He's right there, right, Mark? Standing still building. Like I said, we just got to be patient, bro. He will 100% go into that tent. Bro, I'm not liking this, bro. I'm going to be real with you. Well, we can easily kill him now, but like I said, we're only going to get what's on his body. We're not going to get what's in his, like, his main loot. Yeah, but you don't know where he is right now. He's to my right. Oh, he opened it, he opened it. He just opened it, closed it. Come up, crawl up, crawl up, crawl up. Come with me. He's going to open it. We got to gun his ass. Mark the tin again. Is on the, that tin? Yeah, 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 he's in there. I'm thinking maybe like what if you know dudes be taking a break or go to the bathroom and shit. <laughs> maybe that's yeah. what he's doing. I mean it's been like ten minutes, so. True. Maybe he's taking a poo. <laughs> <laughs> I killed him, I killed him. Go, 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 go. What does he got? Oh! <gasps> Don't check, tell me. Check, check this chest. Check this chest. Ooh. Grab Ooh. that. Where we, look, look at the cash. Look at the, look at the cash. Yo, go, 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 go. Get this shit. Get this shit, bro. I'm about to get everything. Off, man. I'm about to get everything. Peel. I'm taking out the weed. Oh, I can't even see the fucking. Dude, gotta bear it. You got weed. You got grab, key cards. Go. Grab everything, bro. Get the we gotta fuck go, out of here, bro. man. We gotta go. Oh, no. Oh, my God, bro. This dude is kitted. Kitted. My God. We gotta go. We gotta go. What Double does check. he have? Let's see. Just building shit. Wait, what vest he got? I don't even know. Right. Just a plate. Take that ghillie. Take that ghillie. I already got a ghillie. We gotta go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Come on. Let's get out of here, bro. Look at the base. You see, it's empty. It's open. Fuck I mean. the base. Fuck the base. Get <laughs> out of here. 
This wasn't the type of heist I had in mind when I joined the server and honestly I didn't even know what to do at this point. My main worry was that he might come searching in our direction and find our base which wasn't really secure so I got started in a much more fortified base. But it's looking good so far. Halfway through the build I ran out of nails so we took a short break to run down to the trader and grab some more. Uh, this cut down trees here, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're building in this mustache. I need to get a sniper next time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm running up to their base. Oh, he's there, he's there. He's coming, he just came out. He's going to cut wood. Has 12 SVD, so he's not crazy geared, but he's been alive for a while based off his dog tag. There's a guy that just came out. Did you kill him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He looked right at me. Uh, yeah, he was building cold lock. Saw. Bunch of nails, that's nice. Take that shit if you can, the cold locks and whatnot. I'll um, get to work on buying the shit we need so we can go. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go build. Oh my door God. glitch, man. I'm gonna have to add some railings or something there. The door literally glitched, bro, and just knocked me off. That is not good. Finally, the base was complete. I built it in a way that would make it really hard to online raid, with every treehouse having multiple windows peeking down at the forest floor and the entry ramp. Also, the tree branches made it almost impossible to pass through unless you crouched at exactly the right time, otherwise you were going to get launched down to the floor. So that left us in an interesting place because we had a pretty decent base and we were really rich off raiding that one tent from earlier, but we still had the goal of completing a large bank heist. But as we discovered earlier, it wasn't going to be so easy to do a bigger heist with just two people, so we needed a crew. And I had a pretty good idea of someone we could ask to join us. Wait a minute, Satona. You got a pirate flag on that thing. Uh huh. Maybe he's a bandito. Let's find out. Hello? Is anybody in there? If you are, bro, we were here earlier and our friend here killed you, right? We're just wanting to give your stuff back since you're just getting a good start. Like, I'm sorry. I'm gonna give you your shit back. Hey, you're good, man. I'm gonna drop some shit for you. You even gotta come out if you don't want to. Hey, you're good, man. You solo? I mean, for real? Or are you fucking around? No, no, I swear to God. I, I literally, you were like dead ass, bro. You were dead at the ass. tree cutting a tree, and I ran up and I was literally fucking like yeah, I was panicked. Cutting a tree. Yeah, so I, I didn't. And then I seen like you were probably solo. I felt bad, so. They kind of have like a little neighborly thing going on if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I'll come out real quick. Um, Alright, yeah, we're, my guns are away, right so. Now, so. Yeah, our guns are away. You're good, man. Yeah, we got our guns put up. Oh. Yeah, I dropped oh, some man. shit there for you. At the door. Cool. Appreciate do you Do you need anything? Because we do got like some spare stuff. Do you need anything for building? Uh, no, we're good on building stuff. We just got to get it, um, get it going. Okay, cool, cool. But we've been trying to, like, basically rob banks and stuff, right? 
because you can do that and like make money. Yeah. And um, we were trying to find people to like help us. Cause there's like a big robbery you do at a town called Borek. I don't know if you've been there yet. Is that the uh, clock tower? Exactly. Yeah. So there's a big yeah. robbery. And, yeah. Like we we're trying to find people to help us do like the stage three heist, which gives you like a ton of gold, pretty much. Yeah. Fuck so yeah. yeah. Be down. Yeah, I've got a little bit of here. If you guys want to go run around and do something, I uh, just call me Easton. Easton seemed pretty eager to hit the bank, and since there was three of us now, why not give it a try? Surely there wasn't going to be a bigger group to counter us, right? Let's clear the building. Clear. Alright, do you want to try starting it? And then I'll just go post up. Yeah, there's some pants here, bro. This kind of sucks, but... Yeah, I'm gonna just get started, okay? Make sure it works first. Might be a cooldown. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, man. Let's uh, let's just post up and wait. I might hold the school here. No fucking shot, man. Come on, bro. What the fuck is this running around? What? I'm loading in right now. Someone's up in the fucking school next to me. What should I, should I start right now or? Yeah, go, go, go. It says 5,242 seconds. The server crash put the bank robbery on an hour cooldown, so this was a wasted attempt, but we had bigger problems to deal with for now. I log into a dude running above me. What the fuck's the odds? Oh, Gilly, dead. Come in. I killed two, killed two. One's up in the school. One's, on one's, top? One's like up top there. Building? I'm a mark, I'm a mark. I'm gonna get this other guy's gear. We gotta go, man. Oh, big PKM guy right here. Someone just got shot at. That was close. Yeah, 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 he's right in these woods somewhere. I'm dead, uh, up the dirt road. I kept him, I kept him. After the failed heist, we weren't going to be able to rob it again for another hour at least, so I met back up with the boys at base and we made some plans to rob some ATMs and check out some nearby bases Easton had found while we waited. That is awesome. Yeah, hey, welcome to the treehouse. You can pay my friend here, the A1 Builder. <laughs> you gotta crouch around, these these branches like will knock yeah. you off. Here you gotta just kind of stand and walk right through. like actually really good anti-raid they, they gotta walk through all this shit just to get to your main little spot right yeah if we're on and we get raided we can sit like right up here open a window be careful here this is the hardest one you just gotta walk around the edge so yeah this is like i guess the main house and the idea is if they do raid us we can hold it from here you know they gotta cross that bridge it's not gonna be right. that easy yeah not to mention like all the tree branches, like having weird hitboxes. Exactly, yeah. Hey yo, there's an ATM in here, boys. Wanna rob it? Eesh. I get 112. All right, let's get out of here. You give half to Easton. Not bad, bro. Do you remember where that raid? Um, not raid. That base was. You said there's one on the road. You said it's over here somewhere. I think it might be over by Vishnu. I'll have to look on my map. All right. 
a decent sized little base. And there's one near Orvalet's factory on the hilltop. Oh. That bit big. Coastal base, okay. It's one of the only ones that I've seen. Here it is, right here. This looks pretty well hidden. It's a little 3x3. Three three. There's no roofs on it, bro. <laughs> He's in here. Hello? Hello? Oh, they still got a nice M110 in there. I could just knock him out and take a shit. Can I try it? <laughs> oh, okay. Or that. Yeah, dude is broke. Yeah, it's not even worth our... Literally not worth wasting resources on. Ah, uh, boys. Something up ahead. What the fuck is he doing outside? He might have friends. Wait, DMR enjoy. Where did we see this guy? Oh, this is the this is the base we raided. The the tent. Oh. Remember? No shot, bro. Yeah, he built it, but his walls is inverted. What is though. this? I don't know. Right? This is the same base, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is, bro. <laughs> what is this? It what has is floors this? right here. He's so lucky the flag system on the server protects you. Well, I know a way in. Come here. Yeah, I seen that little hole in the ground. <laughs> I'm gonna crawl right in. Oh, it's too small, dude. No. Oh, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Pretty sure I can crawl into his tent, dude. No way. Oh my god. Is it loaded? The first chest was pretty loaded, yeah. Easton, check those chests down there. There's a lot of stuff. My god, I'm, I'm deep in his tent, dude. You can't make this up. I'm in. We need to give this guy a break, bro. I don't know. He, he's gotta be new, right? He's gotta he be new. With that little crevice. We took half of the stuff and then left the other half for Easton and made our way out of there. The bank cooldown had finally ended, so we could try and complete another heist, but it had gotten late and we lost one of our crew members. All right, for sure, bro. You're in the area. You're, are you logging out? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and log out, man. All right, man. It was fun playing with you. Are you gonna be on tomorrow? Uh, probably not tomorrow. I might be on throughout the week. Kind of spotty. Okay. I don't know the different time time zones. It was fun uh, playing with you, man. Hopefully, we meet again. Definitely, man. Catch you guys around. Nice meeting you, Easton. Take it easy, bro. Stay safe out there. It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> ah. All right, man. Just us two again. Yeah. Since we were man down once again, I spent the last hour of the night putting up final touches on our base to make it a little bit more safe to walk around on. Here's what the final outcome looked like. This is the treehouse from under. It's complete. I was going to put some supports under, but I don't think there's any support that's really going to reach from there to the ground floor. Overall, this thing does look nice. Anyway, right, come on up here. This room, there's nothing in here yet. This is more of just like a defense room, really. I can actually get in it. That'd be cool. Okay. Nice. Yeah, that's one of the downsides of living in a tree and playing DayZ, which is the buggiest game in existence. But I think we're okay. We don't lose that much health. This is more of a defense type room. You know, there's like windows here. 
So you can just like peek out here if you want to, if you're gonna you're about to get raided or whatever. Alright, now you come over here. Got another window right here. Again, it's just for a view of our tent, which we're gonna put our car if we end up ever getting one. Hopefully one day we do. So you close that up, you come out here. Just got a little little walkway. This is just gonna be open because it's kinda camouflaged by trees anyway. So you can post up here and, and shoot down. Also, if someone's raiding, it's gonna be really hard because these guys gotta cross, like, over all these branches. So, like, say you're crouching through here, you're not gonna be able to make it. See, it's you're stuck. You gotta know how to actually, like, walk up here to do this. And only we know right now. Coming here, this is a small loot room. We just got some uh, wood crates to put some stuff in, basic stuff. Also, I have two windows in here. This one doesn't offer the best view, but whatever. I mean, it's still a view. This one is way better. You can once again see the tent. Alright, now you come over here. You gotta crouch to get up this. You gotta walk over here, walk around right. We got this little platform. It's kind of like a shooting platform. And then we have the main room. You come in here, all of our loot is up here pretty much. We didn't move everything up yet though, but most of the loot's already up here. Hi, dude. The next day was heist day, and we got up early to do some preparation. The first thing we would need was an escape vehicle for after we left the bank, so we ran to the Vibor Auto Market to try to buy one. There's a body here. Uh oh. Two bodies. So, the only thing we're gonna be able to buy is the Doom Buggy if you give me your money. And that thing, I don't... Bro, I hope it's a two-seater. I don't know. That thing don't look like a two-seater, Chief. No, it don't. But it's like, what else can we buy? That's it. It might be two. No, no, because there's a seat to the right. Alright, ready? Start her up. Get out of here. You're in? Yes, yes. Oh, you're sitting in the back. <laughs> Go, go! <laughs> this is so stupid! <laughs> Cannot believe we just pulled that off. Alrighty. This is the most important part of the plan that's done. We have our escape route, our escape vehicle. This is the issue. We don't have enough people like we expected. Plans fell through, we lost half our crew. Easton's nowhere to be found. So we're going to have to improvise and go in just us two. Now, is this a suicide mission? Yes. Will we probably lose everything we own? Yes. But if we somehow pull this off, we're set for life. Here's what we should do, I think. I think we go in and we do the same kind of setup as last time. One of us holds the inside of the bank and then one of us sits outside. I would say we can put our car north in the woods, but th that's where the dudes are going to be waiting for us, like always. Like, remember last time? That is where they post up at. Yeah, right in these woods, Dazbog. That's where they're all going to be sitting, most likely. Whereas if we go south, we have a better chance of getting out. Our plan was finally set. We were going to park the car in the woods near Novi and run right to it after the heist. But just as we were about to embark on our final mission, we got some very bad news. There's a bank robbery. God damn it! Someone's dropping it now. We gotta, we gotta slide on them, bro. Go. Is this fine? You think? Yeah, that's good. That's a big ass fight. They are going crazy right now. Oh, I see oh. Gilly. Yeah, yeah. He's countering it. Hold up, hold up. See what he does. He's clearing. If he stands still, I'm gonna shoot him, okay? Is this you in front of me? Uh, no. Killed one. Full gear. He ran out. He ran out. He ran out to the left. He might push his. 
He ran out to the left yeah, of the pushing. door. He's in the woods. He's in the woods. You see him? Yeah, he's running up. Full Gillied. Running up still. I see him. I'm hit. Oh, what I just got stun locked from that hit. I'm about to die. He has a minigun, by the way. I hit him. I killed him. I killed him. Okay, there's another one sniping, though. You gotta watch out, bro. We were in no shape to make it down into the city, and someone had beat us to the cache once again, but we didn't leave empty-handed. The guys we killed had a lot of really good gear on them, so for now we grabbed it and fell back into the woods, waiting for the bank to open back up again. Alright man, start it up. I'll be outside at the school. Four minutes, bro. Uh-oh. We got company. Here we go. We could throw him off. We could run the other way down the field instead of going up into the woods. What, to the left here? I'm thinking, yeah, because he's uh, he shot from up in the woods. So, and last time we last time we came here, we I learned from that. Like they're literally were all up in the woods, right on that dirt road. I'd say we go left. It's gonna be open, but we might have better chances. All right, let's do that then. Okay, last minute here. They can have a perfect sniping visual from this window here. Should I just go just, for it now? Go, 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 go. I'm outside already. Go. Running around trying to spot him. Ooh. Let's go. Okay. Go, 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 go. Ooh. I think he's in front of us. I'm hit. Hit him. He's dead. He's dead. Good shit, bro. Good shit. Go, 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 go. He's a clan tag, watch out. That's behind. Just keep running, keep running. Yeah, go, go, go. Told you they'd be in that woods, man. They only left one guy on this tree line instead of they, they expect us to go that way. It was a really close call in that open field, but we were able to make it back to base in one piece. This was our first successful higher tier heist, and with the gold bars we got from this, we were far richer than we could have ever imagined. We got eight, not bad. Golly, man. Ah. Feels good, man. That feels great, bro. Let's go. So with that, we had accomplished everything we had set out to do in this adventure, and we just left most of the stuff in our base and logged out for the final time. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end, and I'll catch you in the next adventure.